Traders, this video is the 2025 update of our symbol pages, specifically looking at this financials tab here. And the goal of this video is to show you some of the changes that have occurred since you last watched a video like this, or perhaps even read some help center content. Today, you're getting the full update 2025 version. So as you can see here, we've got Tesla open. And we're going to go ahead and click the financials tab. Now, when we click the financials tab, the first thing we can do is scroll down. And as we scroll down, we are going to get new visuals and new insights into Tesla, the company and stock. Now, we can keep scrolling down until we reach the bottom of the page. But the point here is that you can quickly see just how much information there is here for you. And in addition to that, this is sort of an overview tab. It quite literally says overview here. And this is giving you the high level overview of what's going on financially. Now we can click into statements and once again, scroll down accordingly. And once we scroll down here, we can actually get some line items about the income statement. And every time you see these sort of little clickable circular tabs here, remember that that means you can click them to access a new piece of information about this specific company. So it's important to remember that it's very likely that the information you're searching for on TradingView on the financials tab is here. It's just all about knowing where to click. So we've started by giving you the high overview with the stats and facts about Tesla in this case, but it could be any company. In fact, it even says right here, key facts, market cap, when it was founded, number of employees. And then as we click our way through, we're now in statements. Now. Let's just talk about statements. Statements is similar to, for example, you've got financial statements, such as revenue, expenses, and what their profit is. And as you scroll down, you can see all this information, which comes directly from their statements. Now, if you're familiar with specific companies, you know they have an income statement selected here. There's a balance sheet, and there's a cash flow statement. So you've got three different statements. Click through each of them, and one of the great things you can do here is as you scroll down, you can, first of all, look for these little drop down arrows that you can click and they'll drop down, which means you can get a little more information about each line item in this income statement, research and development, for example. You can also, of course, toggle this to annual or quarterly. Now, just to quickly explain that to you, if it says quarterly here, well, that means it's every three months, it's a quarterly report. Q1, 2025, Q4, 2024, Q3, 2024, Q2, 2024, Q1, 2024, and now we're back to Q4, 2023. So it's operating quarterly. Each column here now means three months. That's how many quarter, how many months are in a quarter. If we click annual, well, all of you know what annual means. It's yearly. So now you can see 2024, 2023, 2022, 2021, and so on. Now, you can click between annual and quarterly and still click through your specific statements and everything will be updated nicely just as you're used to. Now, in addition, you have these nice visuals up here and always keep in mind as a nice little tip is that if you click a specific line item in this income statement, but it could be balance sheet or cash flow, you can adjust the visual up here. So I have total revenue and watch this. I'm also just going to click, let's just click taxes. So now we have total revenue and taxes. If I scroll down and if I click here, let's do EBITDA. Now I've got total revenue, taxes, and EBITDA right here before my eyes. And you can make your own just by clicking through the line items of your choice. Re remember now that also applies not only to income statement, but balance sheet and cash flow as well. So you can click these tabs, then click the drop down, and you are off to the races. I'm on annually, so I'm going to switch back to quarterly, actually. Now, moving along here, it is important to remind you that you can click through these tabs to get more and more information. So before I now dive into each of these in detail, let me just remind you, there's statistics, there's dividends, there's earnings, and there's revenue. So as you get started here, you might click through these different tabs. And you'll see all of the data in front of you just like this. Now, do keep in mind for dividends, for example, if the company doesn't pay a dividend, well, you guessed it, it's going to be empty. In fact, 
It says right here, Tesla has never paid dividends and has no current plans to do so. So that means you're not going to see any information here. But if you go to a company that does pay dividends and click this, this will look a lot different. So now going to statistics, well, statistics is something that you can think about in terms of financial statistics that everyone is aware of, that most people know if you've been in markets for a long time. It's essentially a way to look at the income statement and turn it into specific stats. So price to earnings. So what is price to earnings as an example? Well, price to earnings is how much money are you paying for each dollar of earnings. So if you buy the stock, how much are you paying to, to own that stock per dollar of earnings? And that's a, st a statistic that you can see on this tab. And as you scroll down, you can see more statistics as well. So you've got all of these statistics right here for you to access. In addition, you can always click, no, I don't wanna show that just yet, but you can always click into these specific statistics. So once again, make your own little custom visual up here. Now, one thing that you might find interesting as well is that as you're going through this, the statistics page, you might notice here that if you click these statistics pages, you can get more data about that statistic that you're interested in. So that's nice to know that you can click through and get more data about these statistics. Now, dividends is obviously empty, and we just explained that, but now let's click through to earnings. Now, as you can see here, we have Tesla earnings per share and revenue. Well, earnings is a little different than statements, statistics, and dividends in that. This is sort of the earnings report you might hear about in the news often. What's the revenue estimate? What's the EPS estimate? When did that earnings report happen? And when is the next report coming? So this is where you're getting your earnings information. So click earnings if that is what you're looking for. And in addition, you once again get some nice visuals here. And probably what's important is that you can see blue is reported, gray is estimate. So you can see what was actually reported versus what was the estimate. And then you can even see the shaded area, which is the estimates out into the future. Once again, you could look at that annually or quarterly. All you have to do is click this button here to toggle it as needed. Scroll down and you'll enter the, enter the revenue section of this specific walkthrough into the earnings tab. And now we've got revenue and same thing, reported an estimate. And here's the future revenue estimates, quarterly, annual, annual. So what's really nice about this is as you get better and better, you will start to realize that a lot of the features are similar across each of these tabs. Now, if we click revenue, well, we've got the same thing going on here. Here is our revenue breakdown. So this says Tesla revenue breakdown. Also, if you ever see this show more button, go ahead and click it and you can expand this text here that might give you more context or information. And as we scroll down now for Tesla, and by the way, this is not, you know, this is something that is specific to each company, it may not look the same for every company, but as we scroll down, now we're going to get more information into where the revenue is coming from. So here we are. We've got all these different revenue sources and specific countries as well. United States, other international, China, Netherlands, Norway. For Tesla, you can see this information. So it's a deeper dive into revenue. Now I'm going to go ahead and click overview once again, because there are a few more things to remind you of on this page. And that is that keep in mind that there are a few helpful details that you want to utilize when you're on the updated page, in this case for Tesla financials. Number one is you might see this search button around. Well, you can search here for the specific financial data point you're looking for. Go ahead and search for it. You've also got this share button, which you can click and you can go ahead and share this around as needed. Maybe, maybe you wanna share something, click share and you're off to the races. In addition to that, when you're on the overview page, it is important to remind you that there are these tool tips that you'll see around. So if you ever see this question mark, show definition, you can click and you'll get some interesting and helpful information from this help center. And also this is where you might just be watching a video just like this. And then finally, as you're making your way through these pages, Keep in mind that if there is something that looks interesting to you, especially on the overview page here, 
Well, don't forget that you can always click into it. And one way to do that is if you hover your mouse over, it highlights blue. And you might even see this little, this little arrow here. So if you hover your mouse over it and you click, it's going to open up that new tab for that specific data point that you did click. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, okay, sorry. Let's go to overview. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to specifically these estimates. I'm going to click. And now here are some earnings estimates. So when you see that blue highlighted link with that arrow, go ahead and click it. And you can end up on the page specifically for what you just clicked. So this, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned something new. And of course, be sure to leave your comments and feedback below. And remember that if you leave us specific comments and feedback, we're listening and we will do our best to respond. And we also have a help center that's here to help you, as we showed you, if you see that little tooltip around here. And in addition to that, our YouTube channel now has several hundred videos that are covering all of the features and tools on TradingView. So be sure to check out those specific videos if you want to learn more. So thanks so much for watching. Press that subscribe button and we appreciate your time.